Hello, this will be a guide for how to install older versions of Starbound. Uh, this can be used for any other game on Steam, but I'm putting Starbound here because I feel that a lot of people aren't aware that you can do this in the Starbound community, and I think that the beta versions deserve more love. Uh, you can do this for any version, yes, even before Enraged Koala, so you can play without all those stupid story outpost things. Uh, so yeah, so f first off, you will need two things, one being uh, Starbound, of course. And the second is you'll need Depot Downloader, which I'll provide a link in the description for. So yeah, it used to be it used to work on Steam, but uh, I don't know they messed something up with it somehow, and it doesn't work anymore. <laughs> so yeah, you have to use Depot Downloader now. So yeah, also you may want to go ahead and have a uh, Steam DB up right here. Steam, I'll provide the link in the description. SteamDB.info. Uh, so let's continue. So first up, go ahead and look up Starbound on SteamDB, which I just said before. Starbound. <coughs> so right here, it sh should be 211820. Uh, though do keep in mind, if you decide to follow this process for another game, you will want to know when the update's released. For Starbound, I know there's a version history study right here. I'll send the link to this in the description as well, which has all the dates for when the updates were released, so you can tell what time frame they were at. So yeah, also you'll need the game ID, which on the SteamDB will be in the URL right here. So it'll be like after app, and then the the ID of the game. Okay, so next you'll want to go ahead and find history. If you scroll down you should see it. There, you can use depots, but y I've noticed that for Starbound they don't have all versions. I don't know how it is for other games, but I know that history just has everything. So next you'll need to scroll down and find the date that the update was released. So keep scrolling, and you'll need these things. A part that says manifest, so hold on, let's see if we can find a version real quick. Okay, so after a lot of scrolling, I have found an example that I'll use. Okay, so right here is public, which you'll need, it, it'll, I think you, you might be able to use these ones unstable. I don't know, but you should probably stick to public, and it'll also need a, a line that has this manifests. So yeah, if you find that, also if you want a certain version, it will need to be in a specific time frame. It also, it doesn't need to be the exact date that it released, like right here for Furious Koala. They sometimes added like a bug fix or something, I think. I don't know, maybe. So, let's see. Public. This was probably when it released. And it'll ha it has the manifest, but it was being slow for me or something, so when I downloaded it, I used this one right here. Uh, so yeah, it doesn't need to be in the exact date, but if you want that specific version, just make sure it's before the next version and either on or after the date the version released. So yeah, you'll want to find the line with manifest and go ahead and copy the number with the green background right here. So let's go ahead and copy this map right here. And like I said earlier, you're going to need the, the uh, game ID, which is in the URL. And put it right here. Okay, so let's continue. So now we're done with the SteamDB. Uh, you should be safe to close out of it, as long as you have the game ID. So, you'll want to now open the place where you put Depot Downloader, here's con Depot Downloader's contents. So right here I have a folder on my desktop with all the contents of Depot Downloader. Now, you sh I don't think there's any like EXE area. There's no EXE, but if you go right here, just get rid of everything, like click on the top, and it'll have this in the tax base and it should get rid of everything. Type in CMD. And 
so it now sh it should now open command prompt. Mine looks slightly weird because I have a different locale, but it, it it'll open command prop prompt. Okay, so I'm gonna put a co I'm gonna put a command in the description, and I have a text file. Okay, so I'll put a command in the description where you're gonna need to copy and paste this and put it into command prompt. So don't hit enter yet because you'll need to enter your username and password and also the manifest number. Oh. You'll also need to enter the manifest number you got. And also right here it currently has the game ID of Starbound but I'll have uh, it'll be like okay so in the description it'll have this like app ID and app ID plus one. So here you're gonna to want to put the app ID of the game you're doing. For this case, it's Starbound. So two one one to wait two one one eight two zero two one one eight two zero. And app ID plus one. I'm not quite sure if this is how it is for all games, but I noticed that this is how it was for Hollow Knight and also Starbound. So uh, if it doesn't work for your game, I'm I wish you luck. I don't really know how to find the number. I. I'm pretty sure you add one to the game ID though. And it, this will work for Starbound also Hollow Knight. But yeah, so go ahead and add 8211821 there. Because you're adding one. So now get the manifest ID. Uh, so we put that over here. Copy it. Because that number in the, the green background is the manifest number. So then you want to put your username and password. Uh, I didn't make this, so I mean, do this at your own risk. You have to do it to do the thing, but I'm pretty sure it's perfectly fine. But do this at your own risk. So yeah. Uh, so I'm just gonna go ahead and put it. In. Okay. So here it'll say that it's connecting to Steam, and if you have two-step authentication. It'll say to enter your two-factor two authentication code from your authenticator app, or whatever you're using. And so, you'll just need to put that in as normal. I don't know if it's case sensitive, but I just put in all capitals, so, yeah. It'll start doing stuff, which, hold on, we'll show right here. So right now it's downloading stuff, it'll have like, all this. And you'll need to wait until You'll need to wait until it says something I'll show in a minute once this is done downloading. It's going to take a bit. Okay, so now the download's done, it'll say Got session token disconnected from Steam. So you can go ahead and close out of that. And you'll have a folder called Depots. You'll want to go into that and it'll have the game ID here at plus one. I'm pretty sure. So it'll be there. And you want there might be another folder. I'm pretty sure there at least for it to starbound there will be. So go into there and it'll have the game contents. So if you want you can go ahead and copy the game content or cut them out. You don't need dot depot downloader, so you can delete that if you want. I'm just gonna keep it there. Somebody cut the things, uh let's see, let's put them like uh no, no, let's put it right here. Uh, uh Starbound Furious Koala. It's there, we're gonna paste. So now you have the game. So let's wanna find the XC. And you can launch it right now if you want, and it'll run the game. Let me show. Let's launch it. Oh doing things. There we go. <laughs> and yeah, I'll go ahead and launch old, old loading screen. All that. But yeah, I'm assuming you guys believe me now. It's, it's up. It says Starbound Beta. And if you want it, you can add this to Steam. So, first off, you want to have Steam up with the new Steam UI. You're going to want to go to the uh, bottom left corner and hit add a non steam game then you want to hit browse 
And so you want to go where you put the file. So let's see, where is it? Uh, let's put Starbound Fury Squala 134. Starbound.exe. So that's. You can just add right now, and it'll be right here. You can launch it, hit play. Now you'll notice. Hold on, let's just go ahead and launch it. So you'll notice our there's black, here's grey. You can go ahead and launch it. But if you want, you can change the name. So let's. Wait. Hold on, let me just. Let's remove it. There. Where is it? Remove non Steam game from your library. So let's close it out. Real quick. Okay, there. So you can go back and you can rename the. the file. So let's say Starbound Furious Koala. There you go. If you want to have it, that's that. Add a non Steam game again. And. browse. Starbound Furious Koala. Let's select the programs. And there you go. Wait. Oh. oh, yeah, that's my other thing. Okay, so it'll show up here, and it'll still have the black back. So you can set a custom background for this by right clicking. It'll say set custom background. You can also set a custom logo. I haven't done that, but yeah. Uh, when you play it, it'll also have gray here, and you'll just need to right click. And when you play a second game, it'll go over here, and you can right click again and set custom artwork. So yeah, just you can go online and look up like uh, Steam Starbound cover or something like that. And just find it. Uh, I don't know. You could use this for like the background or something. You know, maybe edit it, put like beta. I don't know. So yeah. Uh, hopefully this helps out. Hopefully you guys have a good day. Uh, yeah. Have fun.